Hi. As I'm recording this, it's Wednesday. So we're thinking about a snow day right now. Don't really know how that pans out. Currently, as you're watching this though, I'm in Boston. You just took your test, hopefully. If you didn't, you need to make that up. And I hope that it went well. Um, and everything that we talked about in terms of set theory is gonna be playing out here for the next few months until we get probably up to about spring break. Um, so let's start talking about unit three. Don't want to lose any time, you know, while I'm at the Big Brain Conference because you paid a lot of money for this. Uh, by the way, this is the first time I've ever made a video like this, so it's probably going to be pretty awkward. So enjoy that. Uh, anyway, unit three, combinatorics is where we're going to be concerned with counting. Uh, and when we say counting, we're going to be talking about finding the number of objects that exist, usually when chosen from a finite set of objects. Um, section one here is called systematic listing. It's going to be the most annoying way, the most annoying technique that we have to do things. Uh, thankfully, we won't need to use it very often, but we need to get good at it so that, for one, we understand uh, when we use a more advanced technique what we're actually doing, and for two, when we can't use an advanced technique, we need to know what we're doing. So, um, systematic listing is simply a way of listing things out systematically. systematically meaning that there's some sort of order, some sort of pattern to the way that we're counting things and we're not just randomly pulling things out of the sky. The whole point of it is we don't want to miss any possibilities. So let's jump into example one and see what we're doing. We're considering, as we often do, choosing from five classes. Uh, algebra, biology, calculus, drama, and ecology are the options uh, chosen so that we can um, Instead of writing them out over and over again, use our alphabetical initials A, B, C, D, and E. And we're going to be looking at three different questions. So question one, in how many ways can one class be picked? Five ways. So maybe we pick algebra. Maybe we pick biology. Maybe we pick calculus. Don't pick calculus. Uh, maybe we pick drama. Or maybe we pick ecology. So we would say this can be done in five ways, no big brain buster there. Um, but then things kind of get a little more sticky when we're thinking about picking two out of the five classes. Uh, and that's going to be a ways that we're going to phrase this. Uh, we're going to be picking from five, we're going to be picking two at a time. So, and let's just think for a second about a couple things that will come up in all these exercises. Is it gonna matter the order that I pick these in? If I decide I wanna take drama and ecology, does it matter if I pick ecology and drama or like I said, drama and ecology? No, we're not thinking about making schedules yet. Schedule's gonna be a key word that helps us do a whole other thing when we get back from Thanksgiving. Um, but for now, we're just thinking about, I want to choose these classes. So we're gonna go ahead and say that the order that we do this in isn't important. We wanna pay a careful attention to repetition and we want to do this in such a way that we're not going to miss any of the possibilities. So let's say we pick algebra as our first class. We then have the option to pick biology. So AB would be one of the options. We could still pick algebra as a first class and then take calculus. Or we could do algebra followed by drama. Or we could do algebra and ecology. So it looks like there's four different ways that we could take our algebra class. So, so far we're up to four ways, but now we want to consider, okay, forget about algebra. What if we take biology and, no, I don't want to write algebra again. I don't want to say, if I said AB, I don't want to now say BA, because I've already determined from the context of the problem that the order that I pick these in is irrelevant. Uh, it won't always be, so we're going to have to be careful. Um, also, I don't want to make a selection like BB. I'm not going to take biology twice um, unless I fail but that's not going to be part of this conversation either so I'm thinking about the order doesn't matter and the repetition is not allowed these are going to be two key things that are going to be thematic for the rest of the semester um, so let's go ahead and say we can't do BA we don't need to do BB so let's just jump to BC doing biology and calculus so let's do biology and drama and then biology and ecology. So because I've already counted one of the four ways I can take biology in my algebra list, now my list is only three things long. And you're gonna, as you will see in many things, uh, start to detect a pattern. Let's start to think about calculus now. Calculus, don't need to worry about 
putting it together with algebra I already did that don't need to worry about putting it together with bio we already did that so we need to put as a unique part of the listing uh, we need to put calculus and drama and calculus and ecology together and you can see the list is getting one shorter every time so as you could guess even if you weren't thinking that far ahead we're probably only going to have one listing in this column and that would be drama and ecology put together so we have four plus three plus two plus one 10 ways that this could be done. And again, I wanna pay particular attention to the fact that I wasn't allowed to repeat any element from the set as I was choosing, and the order that I put them together in didn't matter. Sometimes the flip side of both of those things could be true. So, I want you to take a second and try to determine what about three? Now, if you notice the pattern, and like I said at the beginning of this video, we will have a better way to do these problems in the near future, like the right when I get back. Um, see if you can list out all the ways that you could choose three courses. So uh, we'll give that answer when you come back in part two of this video. So.